Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, Isis, Imitation of Life. The Goddess Next Door helps a young black girl overcome racism during the era of Jim Crow in this golden age Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Imitation of Life in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. I was watching a video by a YouTuber, The Storyteller, as part of his Operation Black Steel series, where he talked about the underrepresentation of black women in animation, comic books, manga, science fiction, and fantasy. And as a writer of black fantasy featuring black heroines like my Isis and e Steam series, I think I can give everyone some insight to why black women are often underrepresented on these platforms. Now, as the writer of the ISIS series since 2012 and the East Team series since 2013, and the writer of black heroines like Matilda Crowley, who was a part of the Spinsterella trilogy, I know it's possible to create positive, strong images of black women in media. Unfortunately, whenever you go out to release these images of black women in media, many black creators are met with a lot of resistance from their own communities. And I have experienced this resistance myself ever since I started launching the ISIS series back in 2012. Now, back in 2012, when I launched the ISIS series, the first group to start coming after me was feminist, and then those pro-blacks and hoteps started coming after me. And then as I released covers by professional artists like the Isis Wrath of the Cyber Goddess cover in 2014, that's when the resistance I got turned into hostility. And instead of people seeing the action going on featuring this black heroine and, seeing, and judging the content of the character and the content of the story, everything started to boil down into arguments over the color of Isis's skin. Now, when I created the Isis character, I did my research, which told me that Egyptian gods were t said to have skin of gold, so I gave the character golden skin. And instead of black people understanding that the character has golden skin based on Egyptian mythology, I had to deal with a lot of black people talking about this whole light skin, dark skin argument. And instead of, again, again seeing the character's co content of her character and seeing the action going on on the cover, everything devolved into this whole light skin, dark skin argument. And instead of people looking at the story and the cover of the story, it became a bunch of shaming language directed at me talking about how I hated black people, how I was a self-hater, how I was color struck, how I was a sellout, and how this character who was created by a black man and is based on the Nubian version of the Heliopolitan gods and is the daughter of Osiris and has experienced things like racism and Jim Crow in America is not a black character and how this character is a white woman. So whenever I would go out here and try to release a cover of an ISIS series book on social media, oftentimes I was met with so much resistance it wasn't funny. So here you have a black creator who creates a black character and he's told by black people that the character isn't black enough. And when it comes down to a lot of black people, again, they, they everything just boils down into these skin tone debates. It becomes about light skin and dark skin. So a lot of creators like myself, they feel like they just can't win because you will go out of your way to create this character and then the core audience that you're trying to sell the stories to, what they will do is tell you that the character isn't black enough, even though the creator is black and the foundations of the culture and history are black. But most people don't want to look at that because they judge by the color of the character's skin. Now, other things that make it very difficult for a lot of black women, black heroines to make it to the two forms of media also have to do with 
hair texture because that's another issue I have to deal with with the Isis and Esteem characters. I often have to deal with, oh, why is her hair this texture? Why is it? Why is Esteem's hair straight? Why is Isis's hair made to look like this? And th it just makes it very difficult for a creator to go out here and try to make efforts to represent black women in these forms of media like animation, like comic books, like manga, like fantasy and science fiction because oftentimes whenever a black creator comes to the table with the character every th everybody just looks for something wrong to find with the character and you just can't win because people want to come to me sometimes talking about where are the braids, where is the natural hair and you're, you're, you're trying to create a character that Rowan represents black people and two can be sold to an international audience. And this is something else people don't understand is that in a commercial product, you need to have a character who is visually appealing to not only black audiences, but audiences all over the world. And so if you give a character uh, certain visual cues, they may wind up alienating customers in other countries. And one of the things that I did with the ISIS series is that it, outside of the black community, it's it gets more positive responses than it does in the black community because I've sold ISIS and Eastine books in the UK, in Germany, um, Japan, and all over the world. But oftentimes I met with the most resistance in the black community because oftentimes black people often want to get into these skin tone debates, they want to get into these hair debates, they want to get into these texture debates, and they don't want to read the stories featuring the character. And that's really what would frustrate a lot of creators out there because you want to represent black women. Unfortunately, you get the most resistance from the black community whenever you go out here to create a black heroine. Now, the other problem a lot of black creators and creators who want to represent black women run into is that whenever you create a character and you want to bring them to the marketplace, oftentimes the audience, again, just doesn't want to support it because oftentimes I will go out here and create a story featuring a character like Isis or Eastin, and again, you get more white people buying the character than black people buying the character. And that's something that if you're creating this character to represent women of color, black women, that's, that's really troubling because you create this character and then the audience again just doesn't buy the character. And that, that's, that, 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 that makes it hard. And then it really makes it where you just, you want to represent them. You want to represent the sisters. You want to tell stories featuring sisters, but Again, if you cannot keep spending money on characters if there is no audience that actually actively goes out and buys and supports these products. So this is another problem that a lot of creators have. I mean, you go out of your way to create this character and you have to spend money to, you have to spend time, one, to write the story and more time to edit the story. And then you have to go out here and you go out here and commission book covers or art to do it and that costs money so you're losing money and time on a product because the audience just they're so busy complaining about things that they don't see what you're trying to offer them and I saw this same argument go on whenever something like Princess and the Frog came out and it just makes it very discouraging for a lot of creators to go out here and create stories featuring black heroines because you run into, again, these light skin, dark skin argument, this hair texture argument, and another argument that I've run into so many times, you run into this character isn't black enough argument. And it's that its character is not black enough argument that is the really most frustrating one for me as a black creator because here you have a black man who is creating a black heroine and he's being told the character is not black enough 
Meanwhile, someone like Marvel Comics can go out here, these white creators like Len Wein, Stan Lee, and Jack Kirby, they can go out here and create characters like Storm or Shuri or Vixen, and these same black people will then tell you that those are black characters. And it's that type of backwards thinking that can really discourage and dishearten a black creator who wants to go out here and represent black women in their stories and create positive stories featuring black women and the black experience. And that's something that, again, is one of the reasons why we don't really see too much images of black women in these forms of media, because, again, oftentimes, those creators, it's just, it just, it just is frustrating when you go out of your way to represent black women and a diverse array of images of black women. And then, again, they tell you that the white man's images are blacker than your black images. Because as a creator myself, again, I go out of my way to not just show you one standard image of black women, but diverse experiences of black women because... In the Isis series, I show you a black woman who was descended from the Egyptian gods. In the East Team series, I also show you the sister of Isis and um, out here, and she's also representing a more contemporary descendant of ancient of an ancient African kingdom. And I also, in other books like the Thetas, represent black sororities, and in books like Spinsterella and the Spinsterella Trilogy book, Spellbound and Legendary Mad Matilda, I show you black girls in the goth subculture, and I get told, again, in many cases, these characters aren't black enough, they don't, they act white, they're, they're white, they're almost like white people, and they look like white people, and again, when you're a creator, you feel like you just can't win, even though your intentions are good, they always take you on a road to hell. And that's one of the things that really frustrates people. And that's why you really don't see too many black women represented in these forms of media. Because in spite of your good intentions, you're always taken on a road to hell by your own black people who will always find something to nitpick and complain about and tell you, again, this character isn't black enough from their perspective, not understanding that you're trying to give people a broader perspective. Because when it comes down to black women and black people, we are not all one skin tone. We are not all one hair texture. And there are a spectrum of skin tones and hair textures out there. And you're trying to show diversity in the way you represent those skin tones and hair textures. Unfortunately, you get all of these dissenting factions which come out here and find something to complain about. And when you're trying to create a product to sell to customers, it makes it almost impossible to sell that product to customers because you're going to have one group of detractors out there who are going to try to dissuade people from buying that product. And I run into that again all the time from these feminists, from these hoteps, from these pro blacks. And the great irony is, is that these are the people who do most of the complaining and say, oh, these black women are underrepresented. But when a black creator comes out here and tries to represent those groups, they're the ones who do more complaining and they're the ones deriding you, and they're the ones attacking you. Now, I remember just about a month ago, I released the cover for East Team, The Sands of Time. And the first thing I did on one of these black fantasy groups, one of these guys got so emotional about skin tone, and he called himself recoloring the picture because he was upset about the skin tone. And it just, it was, it was one of those really discouraging things, but I had to keep persevering in spite of it, because I released the story again, because I wanted to show that Egyptians were black. And even in my blogs and my videos, I talked about how 
when I was writing the story, I imagined it with an all-black cast of black actors doing the voiceover work, but again, they judged it by the color of Eastine's skin on the cover, but they did not judge the story based on the content of the story that I was telling. Because in the story, on the cover, I was showing you a black man with a black woman, but because the black woman wasn't black enough to fit their narrative and their ideas of a black woman, it wasn't. It was something that they wanted to reject. So oftentimes, again, people want to bring black women into these forms of media, but oftentimes they just don't because they, when you are investing money into these characters, investing money into these stories, you don't want to put anything in there that risks you losing your investment. So what they will do is say, okay, well, I won't feature this black woman in the story because all it's going to do is lead to a bunch of arguments. All it's going to lead to is a bunch of drama. And what's going to do is these detractors are going to discourage people from coming to see whatever media I'm presenting or I won't be able to sell that media. So to keep to mitigate their losses, they just, excuse me, won't feature that black woman in the series because they don't want to lose money because I know that from experience because when I go out here and I would launch a book from the ISIS series or the E-Steam series, I just got so much grief and I could probably see that it's not good. It's going to be a hard sell and companies don't want hard sells, especially animation companies, manga companies, where you have people spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on creating these books or these um, movies or these TV shows, and they don't want to take a loss on it, so they don't want uh, the, the loss on their, on their books, and they also don't want to have to deal with all of this controversy from people, again, coming out here and protesting and saying things like they, they're color struck, these guys are sellouts, these guys are Uncle Toms, because a lot of creators like myself, we have to deal with that all the time, even though, again, we have good intentions, we want to present positive images of black women in media, and we want to represent the spectrum of black women from different experiences, different cultures, and different subcultures, like the goth subculture. We want to represent that, but whenever you try to do that, you have these group of detractors who want to shift the narrative back to your standard, either your hood chick or your pro-black female or your boho female. And that's the images they want to see. And thanks to them coming out here and attacking black creators, this is why you have this underrepresentation of black women in your animation, your manga, your comic books, your sci-fi, and your fantasy, because they only want to see a certain image and many of these white companies, they only want to see a certain image because it fits their narrative. It tells the story that they want to see. But oftentimes, people like myself, we want to create those stories. But again, you run into so much resistance that it just isn't worth it. Because again, when you're spending money on these projects and you want to make a profit on these projects, you, want, you don't want to do anything that costs you that money. So a lot of times you want to represent black women, but oftentimes it's the audience of detractors that keeps those, especially these mainstream companies, from going out here and spending the money because they're spending millions of dollars and they don't want to take a loss. And I know from experience from, again, spending hundreds of dollars on book covers that it just it just isn't worth it because... Every time I would release an ISIS or e -Steam cover to social media, again, it would just be this firestorm of controversy, and it would just get so frustrating sometimes that I would have, I would want to just walk away. And what was even even sadder is that whenever I would do a cover that featured a darker skin ISIS, like the one I did with Imitation of Life, where all those detractors literally just disappeared and didn't even want to buy the book. So... I did ISIS Imitation of Life just 30 days ago, 
it featured a manga style image of the character and on one side she had the natural hair and none of these people who were sitting there complaining about the light skin and the dark skin even showed up to buy the book so that shows me again people sit there and they complain about um, this underrepresentation of black women but when it's time to put their money on the table they just disappear because again when it comes down to the image of black women all you get are a lot of detractors a lot of complainers I'm sorry this flashlight this battery um, seems to have gone out but you just can't really win um, so a lot of times that's why companies just don't want to spend the money on it because I heard I was reading an article somewhere or something on a website and they said that that was one of the reasons why Disney never really wanted to do anything with black women because they said they just there was some, an argument that said they just couldn't win that there was always going to be complaints it was always going to be a bunch of drama and again when you have people going out here to protest a product before it even launches it's hard to sell that product so I understand where a lot of these guys are coming from from a business perspective because again I have spent the money and I have lost the money but a lot of people they want they sit there and say they want black heroines in these forms of media but when it's time to go out here and release the product they create so much drama and controversy that and they don't support the product so got a lot of creators again like myself they feel like they can't win now I continue to persevere out here trying to represent positive images of black women in books like the Isis series and the Esteem series and books like the Thetas and the Spinsterella trilogy books because I believe in black women I believe we need more positive images of black women and I believe we need more diverse images of black women out there and I come out of my own pocket to produce these books along with the support of people out here who have helped pay for the donations for the covers through donations through my PayPal and Patreon and I'm going out here and I'm making these efforts and again I want to represent black women in my media and I want to keep continuing to represent black women in spite of all the resistance from the feminists, the hoteps, the pro-blacks and many others out there because I believe the more diverse images we have out there that's going to change the way black girls see themselves, the way black girls see the idea of themselves and shows black girls that there is a way for them to rep be represented out here and a way to present positive images of black girls out there that shatter these old stereotypes of the hood chick, the baby mama, and the strong independent black woman or the image of the black girl who is just miserable out here. I believe that if we put more more images out there it can have an impact on people and it can transform people's lives and that's why I continue to persevere in the face of resistance because I know that change is hard and you have to keep pushing to get that change. So when I go out here and I make media I want to represent black women because I love black women and I want to keep pushing to keep making more images of black women out there in fantasy and this year next year I really want to go out here and launch the first ISIS graphic novel I'm planning on doing an Indiegogo to do that so that we can have this ISIS graphic novel which features a black heroine in a comic book um, and I'm trying to again diversify things and give people again those stories out there now those stories are out there and a lot of black creators are like myself are making those stories unfortunately they don't get much support again in the black community because again most black people in the black community they're so caught up in the color of a character's skin they can't see the substance of their stories or the content of their character if you'd like to try some of my ISIS series books, my Esteem series books, 
the Thetas or the Spinsterella trilogy books of Spinsterella, Spellbound, and Legendary Mad Matilda, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com in the description box. And if you want to help me pay for more things like book covers, you may do so by clicking the link to my Patreon.